Hi everyone, long time no see. I have been, well, when you're watching this, I have been on vacation for a while now, I guess, on like summer vacation. But I thought I could make this video um, filming a little bit of my experience while traveling from Norway to Albania and then from Albania to Portugal with some like transit because we are first going on vacation to Albania and then we are going to Portugal to see our families and we are also going to work from there a couple of weeks and since the world has been very different since Corona has appeared I thought that it would be m maybe cool to film so I can remember one day or if you guys uh, want to travel and haven't done that because you're a bit afraid then you can see uh, how things are going here at least in Europe so this vlog is going to basically be a bunch of little pieces mixed in time only about traveling and what we have to do about the corona, about the rules, about testing, vaccination, etc, etc. Today is Friday, it's the day before our flight and I woke up early and I went to get vaccinated. This is my first vaccine of two. <laughs> you go the vaccine my arm already hurts <laughs> Daniel only started to have a little bit of pain on the second day more or less I'm already like I can't lift my arm more than this <laughs> so I hope I don't get sick uh, I took the vaccine called Moderna which everyone says that on the first dose you don't really get sick well at least most people don't um, so I'm hoping I don't because as I said tomorrow it's our flight and the day after tomorrow it's my birthday so fingers crossed our first flight so from Oslo to uh, Tirana in Albania it's with uh, Norwegian Air for Albania we do not need anything so they don't ask a test they don't ask for any paperwork anything so we just we just have to go <laughs> normally, I hope. As I said, we have the first vaccine. I'm hoping this will help anyway, even if we don't need now for Albania. And I'm taking a lot of documents with me, uh, at least copies of documents like um, where we live in Norway, our registration in the police, our personal number, everything that proves that we live here, although we are not uh, Norwegian, because I am a bit afraid that we have some problems coming back, which, well, I think it's going to be great, but it's better to be prepared, right? That's it for today, just packing, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in our flight! <music> enter Albania they didn't ask for anything so nothing it was just like the good old times where you just like you know go into a plane show your passport just go in and now we know that when we have to catch our plane to Portugal um, we have to be tested and they do tests at the airport in Albania so we are just going there before our flight and stay on the queue do the test <laughs> Hello everyone, just wanted to explain a bit what's been happening in Portugal since I arrived. Basically, uh, we did the PCR test in Albania and so when we arrived to Portugal, the PCR were just valid for one day and then it was like over. And I had the spa day with my mom and for entering the spa they ask you a negative test and since my PCR was not like active, um, I had to buy a like rapid test uh, they sell these in portugal i don't know if they exist in every country but it's like a covid test you do at home yourself um well not at home you need to do it in front of the lady in this case in the spa so she knows it's you that make it made it to yourself and then it says if it's positive or negative 
Uh, it looks like a pregnancy test, but uh, yeah, it was not really pleasant. It, it would say if it's negative, positive or invalid. Mine said negative, so poof. In the end of the day, after the spa, I went to a pharmacy and did a TRAG test. Uh, so it's an antigenic test, um, which in Portugal is valid for 48 hours, so two days. And this is because I am going to a bachelorette party, so they ask this. Also, I'm going out for lunch and the restaurant asks for a test. And also we are going on vacation with our family and the Airbnb house asks also for um, a negative test. So instead of just like buying tons of these that cost like five euros, I decided to do the one on the pharmacy with the certificate for 48 hours. So it's perfect. Um, that costs 20 euros. <laughs> so yeah. And I have the feeling that it will be like this the rest of the vacation because most people in Portugal have the two vaccines already so they have the certificate of the like free COVID but since I only have one vaccine it's like I need to do these tests to enter almost every restaurant or like Airbnb and stuff like I said so yeah but negative everything's fine I do not have COVID hey don't mind my hair and stuff because I'm going to a kid's birthday party and the theme is pirates but I was editing the video and I just realized that um, it's missing some like little pieces that explain what happened I just filmed what was happening but I didn't explain so I thought I would explain now so when we were in Portugal before we had our flight to Oslo we had to take a test 24 hours before our flight departure. It's not the rapid test and it's not, I don't remember the name, but it's not like the top of the tests, it's the medium one. So we paid, I think, 35 euros per person and they would give you the answer of the tests in like two, three hours after you do the test. We woke up super early the day before our flight and went to this um it's like a car drive to get tested which i didn't even know existed so you just drive your car through like a little house where people are doing tests inside and then you never leave the car they do the test while you sit inside the car <laughs> So we did that, we got our answers of the test, both were negative, we took our flight, we arrived to the airport really early because everyone was telling us that, like now because you have to show the negative tests and all the paperwork, there's a big big line of people on the check-in even if you don't need to check in luggage you still need to go to the check-in line we actually we had a wedding and went direct from the wedding to the airport so we didn't even sleep <laughs> sleep um, and we were the first in line we landed in Norway when you land in Norway there's a passport control where everyone that has both vaccines can go through without basically showing anything but if you don't have both vaccines if you're not fully vaccinated then you have to go through passport control where they ask you a bunch of different questions they ask you for paperwork that proves you are a resident in Norway that you work in Norway you live in Norway why are you in Norway and the rules of quarantine in Norway was a were a bit like we were a bit unsure because if you don't have any vaccine you have to go to a quarantine hotel unless you are coming from a green country which are countries that don't have almost any cases of covid but if you are coming from any other country and you don't have uh, vaccines then you have to go into quarantine in a hotel and you need to pay the hotel and you need to stay in this hotel for i think minimum three to four days because you will do a test after three days and if the test is negative you can leave the hotel. If you have one vaccine and the vaccine is green so it's like active um, then you don't need the, to go to a quarantine in a hotel but you need to quarantine at home for 10 days. So they told us okay you have to quarantine at home now when you leave the passport control you need to go 
and do a test inside the airport before you leave, leave the airport. Then you have to wait 20 to 30 minutes and you receive a message on your phone saying that if the test is positive or negative and only if the test is negative you can leave the airport. Ours was negative, we took the train, we got home, we started our quarantine. After three days of quarantine you need to be tested again. So we call this number to book an appointment to be tested after three days. They book us a time and a place and a day. After three days we bicycle our way into that place to be tested which is also kind of like a drive through they tested us we went home waited a day and then we got the test results saying it was negative and then we were out of quarantine and everything was back to normal everywhere we traveled to on this trip norway was the one we felt took more precautions when we arrived regarding to covid and corona so that's good and then after a couple of weeks, it was time to take my second dose of the vaccine. Done. I am officially fully vaccinated. This is the state of me right now. <laughs> oh God. I took the vaccine yesterday. And... Um, I was so happy because I didn't um, felt sick or anything so I thought the whole day and I took the vaccine in the morning so I thought like I thought like yay <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to be one of those people that get super sick and then during the night I got fever and I'm like this now <laughs> it hurts well my whole body hurts especially my back and my arm where i took the vaccine but my back is like killing me and my head really hurts like massive headaches and i'm super dizzy and weak <laughs> thank you so much corona vaccine <sighs> yeah <laughs> wish me luck i hope i'm just sick today and then it goes away but um, I still don't regret it. I think taking the vaccine is important, so yeah. That was it. After, I think, two days, I was feeling 100% again. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have traveled somewhere and how it was, and if you are vaccinated and what you think about it. Just tell me all about it in the comments. I feel like a few years from now, when we are watching this, it's going to all look so surreal that this happened and that these were things we had to consider when traveling or going to a restaurant. You know, it's just so strange that this actually happened. I hope you guys have a lovely week and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!